We are reporting from the sidelines of Data Strategy Summit at Ritz Carlton, Bangalore. And joining me today is Dr. Kushal Patak. He's the Joint Secretary, Systems IT, Capacity Building, and the Chief Information Security Officer at the Raji Sabha. So it's an absolute pleasure hosting you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, Dr. Patak, if you could tell us a little bit about how is the government uh, planning to leverage data and what are the objectives? Yeah, so government is primarily focused upon creating artificial intelligence structure in various social sector ministries, which includes the uh, criminal justice system, the agriculture ministry, the rural development. And by this, the government actually hopes that by involving this artificial intelligence in the social sector schemes, they are better able to serve the people provide better analytics and provide an ecosystem where the other players can also come together. Right, thank you. Now, Dr. Patak, in your keynote, you underlined the fact that the government and corporates uh, should partner with one another, especially when it comes to a data strategy or AI project deployments, etc. Uh, if you could tell us some of the salient points and you know what's in it for both the government as well as India Inc. See, the government traditionally have a huge database which has been created in due course of time. However, the problem with the data with the government is that it is fragmented, it is incomplete, and it is sometimes outdated. Now, using this artificial intelligence, this data itself can be made live. So the first ask of the government is, how can we make this data live? So what the government is trying to do or various public sector organizations are trying to do is to try to bring in corporate sector expertise in the field of data analytics, in the field of skilling, because we don't have skill set in the government sector, and bring them all together into one force so that we are able to deliver the public goods, we are able to provide innovation and also do the societal change. Right. Uh, Dr. Patak here also serves as the CISO for the Rajya Sabha. So from a cybersecurity point of view, sir, uh, what would you say, what, where and how should cybersecurity be factored in when it comes to these transformation journeys? Yeah, so it's a very pertinent question here in the government sector itself, because the government has to be 100% perfect. The data cannot be compromised. It's more about not just the data, but about the perception. Therefore, in each and every field, we need to include this cybersecurity into perspective. Now, what uh, the government is trying to do, or what various sectors, various organizations are trying to do, is to build cybersecurity by design. Now, this is the key aspect where the government has really transformed itself. Understood. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you.